So, this is the ThinkPad T14 Gen 1. My take on the modern replacement for the ThinkPad T480. But is it actually better or am I on strong recreational substances? Let's talk about it. First, what's wrong with the T480? Between 2017 and 2019, a lot of ThinkPads, including the T480, had an issue where the Thunderbolt controller would slowly self-destruct. It would rewrite its own firmware over and over and over until one day it just dies. Symptoms of this included USB-C ports not working, no Thunderbolt device and device manager, no HDMI or data over USB-C, and generally the laptop would refuse to charge over USB-C. Lenovo did release a firmware update, but the process to fix it is painfully tedious. I know this because yeah, I bought one. The reason why is because I found a T480 for about 1,600 rands, which is insanely cheap in South African rands, and it sort of um, translates into 81 euros, 88 US dollars, and 68 pounds. And I thought, uh, let's roll the dice. So after spending way too much time on Reddit figuring out the firmware fixed, I shipped it off to a family member. Now I live in fear of getting that call, hey, the laptop stopped charging. So yeah, that's why I was interested in more modern machines such as the T14 Gen 1, which I bought for 1,400 range, which is roughly 68 pounds, 80 euros, or 75 US dollars. So with all that out of the way, let's meet the ThinkPad T14 Gen 1. The model I have is working an AMD Ryzen 5 Pro 4650U, which is a 6-core, 12 thread processor that has a base clock of 2.1 GHz and boosts up to 4 GHz. It comes with integrated Vega 6 graphics, which at the current moment has 2 GB of VRAM allocated to it. Mine shipped with 16 GB of 3200 MHz DDR4 RAM, which is soldered to the motherboard, but it does have an open SODEM slot and currently equipped with a 256GB PCIe Gen 3 NVMe SSD for storage. This thing is a beast for a business laptop and the best part is a lot of the parts within the machine are not soldered to it and it's sort of modular so you can replace the WAN card, you can replace the battery fairly easily, you can add more RAM, you can replace your SSD, you can even upgrade your Wi-Fi card which I believe the Intel versions of this you cannot but that is something someone in the comments will obviously correct. Let's talk ports on this machine. Firstly, we have a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port, another USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port which is part of Lenovo's proprietary docking connector. Then we have full-size USB-A which is a USB 3 port, HDMI 2.0, a 3.5mm combination headphone microphone jack and an SD card slot. On the other side of the machine, you'll find an optional smart card reader, a USB 3.0 port which is always on, meaning you can use it to charge your other devices, an exhaust vent, RJ45 for Ethernet, Kensington lock slot, and once we go to the rear of the machine, there's a SIM card slot for the optional WAN module. So already we can see that there's quite a plethora of ports on this machine. This is the kind of connectivity I wish more manufacturers would keep and thin laptops. Now, opening up the machine, we have a beautiful crisp 1080p display. Nothing mind-blowing, but it is a decent panel. We have dual microphones, a 720p webcam, there's Think Shutter for privacy, of course, the classic ThinkPad keyboard, which this one has the backlight equipped, and of course, the nipple. The track point is still here for you ThinkPad purists. This machine has a fingerprint scanner which is optional and the top case is of an ABS plastic and magnesium alloy build. It feels solid but it is not premium like an X1 Carbon. This beautiful machine should be the new standard for recommending a relatively affordable ThinkPad for people looking to do general web browsing, photo editing, 7th gen console gaming, emulation and indie games, 1080p video editing, and as well as programming. This machine can do it all. I use it personally as my productivity machine and gaming machine as well, as it runs the games I want to play on PC. 
In terms of battery life, I get about six to seven hours on a light use day, but on a heavy workload, I get about three hours, bearing in mind that this is the machine's original battery. So a new battery might yield better results. Well, I don't believe in synthetic benchmarks at this price point. So let's move on to gaming performance and let's see what this laptop can do.
Bravo 3 radio check over. But in conclusion, that's the ThinkPad T14 Gen 1. Let me know what you think about the PC and as always, see you next time.